In this video, we're going to introduce the technique of integration. Um, so given a function f of x, uh, we have seen that uh, we can find df of x, df dx, and uh, this is the derivative of f of x. So typically, uh, in a... Uh, First uh, calculus or in an introductory calculus course, we are going to um, start with uh, this part of uh, the cycle. So given a function f, can we find the derivative? So this process is called differentiation. Okay, now so um, in this video, we're going to talk about the reverse of uh, this process now, so which completes the cycle. So in uh, this video, we're going to say, if we know the derivative of uh, f, can we find f? Okay. So if we know the derivative, can we find f? In this part of the cycle, we're given f can we find the derivative so this uh, reverse process then of uh, differentiation is called integration um, so in the in this process here this is called the derivative of this in this process here this is called the integral of that so that is uh, integration um, we are going to start with um, powers uh, of x to see how uh, to integrate powers of x. Uh, the symbol of integration is this one here. Um, looks like the letter S because uh, it is actually uh, the integral or integration is a summation. Okay, so if we write uh, uh, integral of uh, x to the power m dx, uh, what this thing is uh, uh, saying or asking is uh, what function uh, differentiates to give x to the power m. So what function differentiates to give x to the power m uh, alternatively um, to give uh, x to the power m alternatively what this thing is saying is uh, we have differentiated a function f and uh, we got x to the power m what did we differentiate? So it's giving us this uh, is x to the power m. Then the question is, what is f? So and uh, so the way of writing it is like this. Now the way we are going to work this out is by first uh, recalling what happens when we differentiate functions because we're saying integration is the reverse of this. So uh, let's uh, do that just now. So recall that um, if we have a power of x, uh, x to the power n, we say the derivative of this is n times x to the power n minus 1. Now we're going to break this down into steps. Now there are two steps involved here. Uh, step number one, we multiply by the power. So in step number one, we're going to multiply, multiply by the power. So this is how we differentiate powers of x. Then step number two here, we subtract one from the power okay so that's how we differentiate powers of x 
and so to integrate powers of x we're going to have to do the reverse process of this what that means is that we're going to do these steps in the reverse order and we're going to do the reverse of each of the steps so we're going to start with this one do the reverse of this and then end up with that one and do the reverse of it so what's going to happen is this so to find the integral uh, of x to the power m or the function that we differentiate to give x to the power m we're going to have to do the reverse of these steps so we start with this one okay so we do the reverse of it so we're going to add one to the power and then step number two which was step number one do the reverse of that so we're going to divide by the power okay so in this case we have got x to the power m so if we add one to the power we're going to have m plus one then dividing by the power we're going to have uh, divided by m plus one what we do at this point is we always add a constant because remember we're saying we want a function that is going to differentiate to give this now remember derivative of a constant is zero so that we can always add and it doesn't affect this so the derivative of this is going to give us that even if we have that constant there so that's why we always add it and so as a result this constant here is called a constant of integration constant of integration um, all right, so we, we have our formula there, but uh, we've got a slight problem with our formula because we are having to divide by m plus 1 in there. Now, we know that uh, we never divide by 0, so we must require that m plus 1 should never be equal to 0. So m plus 1 is not equal to 0 implies that m should not be equal to negative one so we're going to go here and put a uh, condition for this formula that this formula is going to be good enough so long as m is different from negative one then we're going to have to it means we're going to have to look at the case m is negative one separately okay so that means uh, we're going to go back to this expression here i want to plug in m is negative 1 there so this is going to be integral of x to the minus 1 dx which is the same as 1 over x dx then we're going to have to think to ourselves hmm, uh, what function have we come across differentiates to give 1 over x and uh, if we do think uh, we will remember that uh, there is such a function it's a lean x so lean derivative of lean x is 1 over x so that means when m is negative 1 um, this formula here is going to give us lean x so what we're going to do now um, is we can summarize so in a summary um, the integral of x to the power m dx is going to have uh, two options uh, it's either x to the power m plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c whenever m is different from negative 1 or it's going to be lean x plus c whenever m is equal to negative 1.
So this is the formula we are going to start with uh, that we are going to use to integrate powers of x. Okay, so that is the formula there. So in the next video, we're going to see how to use uh, this formula here to find integrals of uh, powers of x okay thank you for watching uh, please do not forget to press the subscribe button and uh, put your comments at the bottom or they've got questions or uh, any other comments uh, they are welcome thank you